Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Test Automation Engineer Certification. We are done with chapter 2 and looking at the sample questions of that. We'll be having 5 questions from this chapter uh, that is respective to 3 different topics. So let's look at the first question here. You have been automating a legacy application that provides critical functionality to the business. An update to the legacy system has been approved and the developers plan to use third-party software to provide the new functionality. The third-party software has already been tested but the interface between the existing software and the new software is problematic. Your existing test automation needs to be extended to test the interface between these two documents products. These two products. How should you approach implementing the best automation solution? And the various options here include develop test automation for the entire system, including the legacy and third-party application. Now, of course, from the tutorials, we understand that not everything in the application can be automated and it's not actually required because there are certain features as a part of the application which may not be automated. So we need to identify those and of course not 100% automation is possible. When you look at B, investigate if automation is possible via the APIs used to interface with the third party software. I think this is the best way where you can use this approach for the automation solutions because you're looking at a third party software as a, to provide a new functionality to you. So of course, investigating would be the best option if this automation is possible via the APIs used to interface with the third party software. When you look at C, develop new automation to test via the GUI of the third party. I think we are not really interested to test the GUI of the third party software that would be already done. Rather, we are looking at integration and interfaces. D, investigate if automation can be implemented using the CLI to replace the existing GUI automation. Uh, I think when we have the option B, which is incredibly correct, you know, performing any such other activity, which is irrelevant, would not be the right option. So the right option here is B, which is the answer. Question number two, you are evaluating functional test automation tools. The tool that you prefer can provide your organization with a favorable cost-benefit ratio, which appeals to senior management. Additionally, you feel the tool is superior in meeting your other technical criteria as well. However, the tool has many features, most of which will never be used. As a result, you feel this makes the tool more complex and confusing what should your next steps be regarding the selection of this tool? So of course, we remember that there are certain functionalities which you call it as customization of the tool, which is available to modify the tool or hide the un unwanted features and many other things. So let's look at the option here. A, consider another tool that is more user friendly. I think uh, that's not so relevant option, but let's look at the other options here. B, explore the possibility of configuring the tool to turn off unnecessary features as well like configuration by configuring you can turn off the unnecessary feature and that can make your tool simple because what we are having right now the organization has an option because you are having a favorable cost benefit ratio then you can look for customizing it rather than looking for another tool and evaluate something different C, plan to supplement selections of this tool with Lendy and comprehensive training sessions. I think that's not a good idea because you're looking to uh, not to increase the cost further, rather you to look forward to reduce the cost. D, consider acquiring an additional tool that can provide a more user-friendly interface to the preferred tool. Now, I think, you know, additional tool means like you have one plus one, so you really don't prefer to do such things. And the right answer here is B. Looking at the next one, that is question number three, sometime you can be expected with a straightforward definitions as well, like uh, when a system is designed for testability, one of the characteristics is that the test cases can access interfaces into the system that can be used to verify the expected behavior actually occurred as a result of the test. What is the characteristic called as? I think this is what we just discussed in the yesterday's tutorial and uh, uh, the right answer would be observability where we talk about observations uh, in terms of like able to uh, design the testability of the system 
whereas controllability is to control the actions and activities of the uh, system or system in the test whereas C and D are the quality characteristics of the application which are the non-functional parameters does not deal with the functional parameters at all so the straightforward definition from the tutorial which can be given to you is the right answer as a observability so that's all from this particular tutorial team i hope you got an idea of the sample questions from the chapter two should you have anything else or you come across any other question feel free to comment below i'll be there to answer those queries and address your uh, questions there as well so till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning